Hey guys, it's Arcadia. In this tutorial, I'm showing you how to do um, like what I did in my white background with all the, like the pieces in the back that look really cool and how the text is like wrapped. Um, I already had this Lightroom. Uh, it was like a save that I had. Um, so I'm just gonna show you. Uh, we'll tell you um, all my like my set presets and stuff on it. Um, all I have open is just a basic Lightroom and a MoText and I have the depth set to 80 um, this font uh, let me see the font name is called Pyrulen um, so yeah there's that and the caps I have it set at Philly cap 6.3 on um, both radiuses um, and I just have a basic well not really basic but it's a white texture um, or a material, not texture, sorry. A white material uh, on the text. Um, and it's wrapped up um, in my Lightroom on my exclusive pack video. Uh, the Lightroom has this wrapped uh, preset going on. Uh, so if you want to download that, that would be awesome. If not, then to use the wrap you just go to this um, icon right here Ooh, didn't mean it open something um, go down to wrap and you just go to your tool here the size tool you make it a little bit no, well maybe you make it bigger you just make it uh, thinner and then bigger so yeah, that's how you use wrap. And then you just put your text on it, and then that should be good. Um, I'm going to do now um, with this text, so I'm going to duplicate it. Control C, Control V. And I'm going to put it above that uh, in the wrap. Um, I'm going to change the caps to fillet, or fillet, or I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, and then I'm going to put uh, just a random material. Uh, I'm going to use red. And. Alright. Um, then I'm going to uh, use Atom Array. So I'm going to bring out Atom Array. I'm going to set the cylinder radius to 0 0.6 and sphere radius to 0 0.6 and now I'm going to drag this mode text onto the atom array and I'm going to move the atom array back under the the, uh, the wrap. Um, let's render this out. Um, I'll put this Lightroom uh, in the description so you guys can just use this Lightroom with, so it has the wrap and everything so you don't have to make it yourself it'll be way easier and uh, less time consuming so yeah hopefully this doesn't take too long to uh, render Actually, I'll uh, I'll pause this and be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, as you can see, um, I used the white material on the first mode text, and then on the atom array, I use uh, I use purple instead of red, um, just because it looks it looked better um, with white. Um, you can see the purple outline like I used in my background, and it looks pretty good. So. Um, yeah, we'll continue on and do the the pieces behind the text, which is used with Drowsy, um, so yeah, we'll do that. Um, go to plugins, uh, well, actually, no. What we're going to do is duplicate the first mode text, um, you control C, control V, um, and we're just going to move it behind 
our original text. I have a size tool. Make it bigger again. Uh, we're gonna move it behind that text, and I'm gonna put it under the wrap, uh, just anywhere really. Um, let's see. Where's it? Oh, there it is. There. Just like that. So it's just like right behind it. And get a closer look so you guys can see it. It's like that. Alright, and now we're going to go to um, plugins, drowsy, and to just the drowsy on top. And we're going to do about mm, t 20 pieces. It, um, what Drowsy does is it breaks um, each individual letter into however many pieces you want. I'm gonna do 20 because, um, like in my in that background, the pieces were kind of big, and I think I used about 20 pieces. Um, maybe I did like 15. Um, so we'll use 15. Um, I'm just showing you how I did it. Um, I, there's probably easier ways um, that instead of the way I'm gonna show you. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to break this, and I will pause the video while it's breaking, because it'll take, like, maybe four minutes or so to break on my computer, because it's slow. So yeah, I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back, um, and Drowsy's now done breaking, so I'm just going to click this off, and you want to drag down uh, over the red X's to activate them and depending on like what word you use uh, you're gonna have a bunch of uh, throughsies here each one is for each letter in the word so yeah and I'm just gonna zoom in here and move this center it um, yeah. Okay. So instead of doing um, MoGraph, Effector, and Random, instead of using Random, I'm going to move the pieces in myself. Um, it takes a little bit longer, but that's what I did in the background, the white background um, that we're trying to uh, recreate here. Um, it takes, like I said, it takes a little bit longer, but yeah, so I'm just gonna keep, um, I'll keep the, you're just gonna want to keep one, uh, letter, um, just, um, so it doesn't, uh, it makes it easier if you just do one letter, um, and then you just, I'll show you guys, I guess, so yeah, I'm gonna keep one letter, and now you you open it up, this plus sign right here, and now you have a ton of pieces everywhere. And each piece you can move yourself is, and that's what I did. Um, so I'm just gonna go back here and show you. And you can move each piece. And um, I kind of just move it wherever. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty cool about Thrasy is you can just modify each piece the way you want it. Um, so yeah, that's just what you want to do. Oops. Um, that's why you kind of just want to do like uh, like ten to fifteen pieces. Oh, my mouse froze. Um, so you kind of have bigger, blockier pieces, and it doesn't take as much time uh, to move around. My mouse keeps freezing up. Um, my computer's so slow. Um, I only have one program open, and plus I'm recording, but. It shouldn't be this slow. Um, so yeah. 
I'm just going to randomly move pieces around. I was on piece 10. Let's see, move it over here somewhere. Move it 11. Move it. Move it up. And you can also uh, rotate these pieces um, using the rotate the rotation tool up here, the very last one on the first column here. Just kind of move them around. Alright, so now that we've done that and you watch me do that, um, <laughs> let's see. I'm trying to find this big piece right here. Oh, there it is. Um, around. Now you just want to put your materials on it. Um, just put all white materials, I guess. Yeah, that's what you want to do since you want it to be all white. Um, this also takes a minute. So yeah, this is pretty cool about Thrazi, it's like you can make the pieces like each different color, um, so you can like make a multicolor background or something. And there we go. Okay, so now that you've done that, you just want to close this up and uh, duplicate it. Um, control C, Control V, and now that you've duplicated it, you can rotate it around. Um, just so you get, makes it look a little bit more random looking. Um, just put it in between uh, the other drowsy pieces. And just keep duplicating it until you think it looks good on your text. It's just totally random. Um, there's no specific way to make it look or whatever, you know. So I'm just going to keep doing this until it looks good. So yeah, let's see if how this looks so far. It's not that bad, not that great looking either anyway, but you can just keep uh, keep moving it until it looks good. You kind of want the text to pop out, um, or pop, yeah, pop out into the text, so it kind of just, like, it hugs it, I guess, I don't know. Um, yeah. So you just kind of want the text to come out of it, or the throusy pieces to come out of the text. There's that piece I wanted to get. I'm going to move back a bit. So, yeah. That's pretty much all you got to do with that. And that's how I did that white background. Um, it's just a bunch of throwsy everywhere. And some text. And you just move it around wherever you want. Wherever you think looks good. Oops.
Alright. Well, um, this doesn't look as good as my, um, my white background. Um, but this is how I did it. It just came out differently. <laughs> um, but it doesn't look that bad. Let me render this out and I will show you what it came out to look like. So I'm going to pause this real quick and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, the text is still rendering out, but you can pretty much see uh, what it looks like. Um, looks pretty good, actually. Um, so yeah, this is that's how I did um, that white background. Um, just showed you how to do all that. Um, you can totally do something different um, with this trick, I guess. I don't know what to call it. Um, so yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed and found this useful. And hopefully I explained everything well enough. Um, for you guys to understand how I did it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and for requesting this. I really appreciate your guys' requests and uh, request something else um, in the comments. That would be awesome. So I know what you guys want to learn from me. And yeah, so yeah, I will see you guys in my next tutorial. See you guys.